We received a text on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Here's the text. <laughs> what a text it was. Hey, thanks for feeling my question. I have two, both related to a Monstera I've had for about eight years. One is that my cat keeps peeing in it. I've been able to stop her by putting aluminum foil on the top of the soil, and I've rinsed it out thoroughly in the shower, but will the cat pee residue harm the plant, and should I repot it? Easy. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Uh, You need to get that urine out of there because it's over-fertilizing the root system. Uh, Most, if you've ever thought about this, like a high nitrogen fertilizer has urea in it. And urea is so, sounds a lot like urine. Uh, so again, that cat needs to uh, get out of there. Um, <laughs> and the cat's going to return unless you move remove as much soil as you can and repot it with fresh potting soil in a new pot. Cat, I have two cats, so I know. Yeah, I know. You know what's I know. Going on, huh? I know. <laughs> the aluminum foil idea sounds great. Um, but replace it with a fresh <laughs> piece of aluminum foil. Yeah. And here's the other part of her uh, text message. Uh, the other is a friend gave me this plant as a cutting with two leaves. It's grown consistently since then, and I've been able to split it to multiple pots and give it to friends and family, uh, give them cuttings, but I hardly ever get split leaves. The new growth is mostly small and unsplit, And they're cute, but not the classic Monstera shape and size. Any clue to how to help it? Is this an indication that it's not healthy? Is it the cat pee? Oh, yeah. Right here. All right. (laughs) Monstera. We used to call them philodendrons back in the day, and they are a type of philodendron. And there's lots of philodendrons. Like, for instance, Monstera. I can remember first hearing, what, Monstera? What's a Monstera? And it's like, oh, it's a philodendron. Uh... And that the thing is, is that there are lots of types of philodendrons. Um, like, for instance, the Swiss cheese plant has lots of holes in it. And it's a Swiss cheese monstera. And that that looks that way. And then there's other varieties of monstera. I think it's just a variety of monstera that does not have a lot of splits in it. And it sometimes can happen when it gets older. Remember the variegated monstera, Julio? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that, I found that that reverts to green. Again. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It, it it's one of those those. <sighs> All right, my son Carl bought a cutting for two hundred dollars, and it was a variegated monstera. It was supposed to be the hottest plant right after COVID. You and I voted it as the best new plant at the Tropical Plant Show, uh, and that what happened was that it reverted to green. Yeah. So I'm just saying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> They're not supposed to do that. <laughs> but cuttings think, usually yeah. stay uh, with the, the cutting variety from the original host plant. And that all I can tell you is that, hey, if it's green and it looks good and it's growing good, That's it. no peas That's problem. Pee problem. <laughs> That's not a pea problem. Not a pea it's, problem. Not a vari- it's just a varietal coming. And that's just the way it is. Yeah. <laughs>